to go ahead, guys. Go ahead, guys. Guys, guys are talking. Go ahead. Okay. No, but but, but, uh, but to, to your point, quiet. That's that's one thing with me with with Micah as well. Anytime that we hang out or whatever, I might put my arm around her or I might kiss her on the cheek right. or I might do and stuff like that. But at the end of like almost every date or at the end of any any time we hang out, we have like a legit like deep talk. I'm like, okay, was there anything that made you feel uncomfortable? Anything that you don't want me to do again? Anything that I should have done more of and blah blah blah. And we have like a whole conversation. So like. Be like, hey, I didn't like when you did this. Okay, cool. Thank you for letting me know, and I won't do it no more. You know what I'm saying? So she, the fact, the fact that she, she the fact that well? she, the fact that she, you said what? Does she also answer yours, or is it just yeah, you asking her? yeah, yeah? We, we talk, we talk about our boundaries. I have my boundaries. She has hers. And off oh, of that, yeah, yeah, yeah. And off of that, like, respectfully, I love like communication. Like, just talk with me. Yeah, if you didn't, if you didn't, if you didn't, if you didn't like something, just just tell me. So off of that, when when you when you say that she texts you on Saturday and she didn't get back to you till Thursday, I'm like, dude, just yeah, talk, just I'm talk. Sure. So I I feel really bad. I I I feel that. I really feel that. I've been in that situation before. So yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, it was it was not fun. You know, like it, it was such a you know a few days later that I, I could you know you could just connect the dots and just like realize mm -hmm. that something was not right. Yeah. But, you know, still it's like I would at least like something yeah some course. kind of explanation which she did provide but yeah. i i didn't you know mm -hmm. it's like a little bit late yeah <laughs> you know specter said in chat he said lack of communication is literally the biggest relationship killer like literally it really is, it really it really is. is. no true story when I, when I was dating this one girl in high school or whatever and i didn't know what this is like my first time like ever being like a boyfriend or something so i don't know what to do so i'm literally like carrying all her books i'm like trying to buy her like ice cream every day i'm trying to like walk into class when I'm late, I'm trying to like talk to her every single day, blah, 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 whatever. And I'm, I'm like, okay, hopefully I'm doing good. I'm a good boyfriend. One time in the middle of like, and then I, I saw her kind of get like, kind of like frustrated every now and then. I'm like, okay, wait, are you okay? Cause I mean, you're kind of frustrated out of nowhere. She's like, no, I'm fine. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna trust you. Cool. And then about two weeks later, literally like we're in the middle of the hallway. Everybody's walking, everybody's doing, going to the lockers, everybody. She just blew up in the middle of it. Just stop oh, carrying yeah. all my books around. I'm like, what? I can do it yeah. by myself. I'm an independent woman. I don't need you anymore. Like, I don't, like, stop, t stop t always talking to me. Sometimes I just want quiet time. Stop. I'm like, why didn't you right. tell me this? That's right. my, that's Where's my thing. Now I look like the imbecile. Look, when I'm trying to do all this stuff, you should be like, Steven, right. hey, let, you know what? Let me carry my books today. Okay. I'm like, that communication, bro. Tell me. So that's the most frustrating part for me. This is the what? Why would you? Why would you say something offensive at this oh. one moment in time, Taki? This is literally like how, the worst time. I like, how, I like how she cannot be comfortable with physical touch, but we can't be comfortable not paying the bill. Cosby. So Cosby. 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 <laughs> Cosby. It's about equality. Equality. <laughs> I pay the I bill. Pay I the want a high five. Them. I want a high five. You know what? We're splitting this check. <laughs> Girl, right. give me your wallet. I want a high five. <laughs> Shoot. Oh, come on, man. Physical oh, man. I took you on a date because I like you. Right. <laughs> right. Yes, yeah. again. What, what weird I, intention. I just wanted a free meal. I'm joking. I'm sorry. Right. I'm sorry. Right. Let's hey, see. All, I, all I'm saying is, we're all saying the same thing. Just communicate. I mean, I don't want to go too deep. Yeah. No, uh, uh, Spect Spectre said in chat, he said, tell Quiet that I take. I'll take hugs from him any day, haha. -ha. Not romantically, but I went through the same kind of thing in as the situation as him. He went through the same kind of situation as you. No, I think honestly, yeah. like a lot of people have, especially that's with this. Dope. That's why it's kind of like an awkward kind of thing with like guys talking to girls. Cause whenever like, bro, I'm, I just kind of like you. You kind of like me, right? Yeah, cool. Let's just hang out, just talk, cool, whatever. Hug. All right. Cool. Oh, that was too much. Oh, you're not gonna talk to me for the. Okay, back to square right. one. And I'm like, bro, it's so it's so annoying, bro. Like well, and my thing too was, uh, and I, I mm -hmm. you said what talking? Yeah, I killed one. I killed. Two. I killed two. I killed two. Frustrated. No, no, no. Actually, no. Actually, to that point. thing. Actually, to your point, Taki. Literally, this is a. There was a girl in um in ninth grade, and. Like, this is when I'm, like, shy, introverted, don't know nothing, whatever. 
she's not technically my first girlfriend because I don't count it because I'm gonna tell you what happened but like she was like hey she, I, I was turning it like a paper or something and I heard her say to like a person who was sitting next to her like watch this watch this watch this okay she just kept saying watch this watch this and she came up to me and was like hey do you have a girlfriend I was like no she's like well I'm gonna be your girlfriend now I was like okay I was, I was confused because I'm turning my paper I didn't I didn't do anything anyways uh, I was like cool and then you know she's like walking in the hallways or whatever and she's like I don't know. She's like, like a nice quad. She like taps me on the butt or something. She's like, "Hey, boyfriend." I'm like, "What's happening right now?" Like, I didn't. I be, I don't know you. Anyways, about three days in, when I'm like, "Okay, wait, I I, I think I have a girlfriend." Okay, this is kind of interesting. I went to go see her. Yeah, she moved to uh, Tennessee and just like, <laughs> like gone, just gone, gone, just like. Oh my God. And I'm like, "Hey, where's this person?" She's like, "Oh, she moved." The, what, the, and I'm just sitting here like. And anyways, moving on. So that wow. so she's technically my first girlfriend, but for three days, and that's that. So yeah, it's it's it's, the, it's unfortunate. What is the lesson in all this, my Christian men? Is to meet your girl at a church. Girls are trash. That's what it is. Thank you guys for coming to my TED call. Thank you.